Jim Perini is a faculty member at Middlebury College for some, and has been there for some 30 years. Uh, he's had an extensive publishing record as a biographer, a novelist, a poet, and an editor of reference works and anthologies. Uh, the Boston Globe called him the hardest working writer you've never heard of. He was born in Pittston, Pennsylvania, which uh, I found out is between Wilkesboro and Scranton. He attended Lafayette College and uh, the University of St. Andrews in Scotland and spent a, a few years teaching at Dartmouth before going to Middlebury. Uh, his first collection of poems uh, was published in 1972, it's entitled Singing in Time. Um, he also published uh, a collection called Anthracite Country in the uh, 70s. Uh, in Town Life in 1988 and The House of Days in 1998. Jay Perini wrote biographies of Theodore Rethka, Robert Frost, and William Faulkner. Uh, he was the editor of the Oxford Encyclopedia of American Literature in 2004. In 2008, he published two collections of essays entitled Why Poetry Matters and Promised Land, 13 Books That Changed America. Uh, and finally, a screen adaptation of his novel, The Last Station, a novel of Tolstoy's last year, starring Helen Mirren and Christopher Plummer, was released by Sony Pictures earlier this year. Um, since we don't have Jay Perini, you have me, and I'll <laughs> read his poem, Anthracite Country, which is featured on this year's uh, poster. <clears throat> this, uh, the second word in this poem is Calm, C-U-L-M. Um, until recently, I had no idea what this word was, and it, it seems to refer to uh, uh, some sort of a, a byproduct of coal mining uh, uh, or coal processing. Can, someone in the audience should be able to tell us more about coal. Yes. It's a uh, coal waste. It's uh, tailings from the mines and uh, in the Scranton area uh, there was a period where there were a lot of these that would catch fire and they would remain on fire for a long period of time and you know, they're, they're basically impossible to put out and um, that gave Scranton a particular uh, air quality uh, issue. Uh, during the period. I understand they I haven't been up there, but I understand they've been cleaned up to a great extent. By the way. Thank you, Joe Wilson. <laughs> 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 Anything further, Julie? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, uh, that's good. Uh, it's the second word in the poem. It's rather essential to following the rest. This is anthracite country. The Colm Dump. The calm dump burns all night, unnaturally blue and well below heaven. It smolders like moments almost forgotten. The time when you said what you meant too plainly and ruined your chance of love. Refusing to dwindle, fed from within, like men rejected for nothing specific, it lingers at the edge of town, unwatched by anyone living near. The smell now passes for nature. It would be missed. Rich earth wound, glimmering rubble of an age when men dug marrow from the land's dark spine. It resists all healing. Its luminous hump cries comfortable pain. Mm -hmm. 